How to set up templates, single product, using the multi-mat. In this video, we will create a template for printing a single product using the multi-mat. First, we'll start by importing a square image outline into our image library by selecting File, Open, and browsing for that file. This square outline was created using a graphic design software and saved in an EPS format. We will now stretch the square outline to match the shape of our iPhone case so we can print an outline on the multi-mat to accurately align our product. In order to do this, select the Layout tab and under the Scale field, change the equal proportion from true to false. Now measure the product and enter a size approximately one millimeter larger so that you'll be able to see the outline around the edges of the product when aligning it on the multi-mat. This iPhone case measures 117 millimeters by 61 millimeters. So we'll enter 118 by 62 millimeters into the output size fields. In the view menu, you will find the template option to create and save single object templates. Select the best shape to match the object you are printing on. You can choose bad shape, rectangular, or circular. In this case, we'll select the rectangular shape which best represents our iPhone case. Using the predetermined unit of measurement, here we will use millimeters, enter the starting point for the X and Y axis to set your product on. For example, a good starting point with the RIP version 8.2.4 is to set both X and Y points at 45 millimeters. Now enter the width and height of the product you measured. Our iPhone case measured 117 millimeters by 61 millimeters. At this point, we will leave the variables for the interval X and Y and the X and Y steps set at one. Click Save to store the template for later use. Name your template, for example, by product type or available imprint area for future use. Click Save a second time to exit the window, then select Apply to adjust the image to the new template. Click OK and exit the template window. Now we're ready to print our outline directly onto the multi-mat as a guide for positioning our single iPhone case. To print this outline quickly, Lower the resolution color on the printer tab. Once the outline has been printed, place the iPhone case in the center of the printed template. Press the auto height button on the printer so the flatbed automatically adjusts to the height of the product or adjusts manually if needed. Using the single iPhone case template, we can now print any image on the product. Open your desired artwork by selecting File, open, then center it within the template by using the Center to Page button at the top of our Layout tab. In the Color and Printer tabs, select your preferred profile settings for printing on your product. Now click the printer icon and send the file to the printer by selecting either one for white or one for color. Printing multiple objects. To print multiples of the same object by using the multi-mat, we would repeat the template outline by going to View, Template to edit the template. Enter the interval between each object using the X and Y interval. For example, if we wanted to place our phones 20 millimeters apart, we would enter 20 for the X and Y interval. Then we could use the X step to multiply the template across and the Y step to multiply it down to fill the entire imprint area. Using the iPhone case size, we can fit two positions on the X axis and up to seven on the Y axis. Save and name your template, then click apply to center the iPhone outline and OK to exit the template window. We'll zoom out and show you the full page template with all the positions. Now we can print multiple outlines on the multi-mat to align multiple phone cases.
Once you've aligned your products on the multi mat, press the auto height button on the printer to adjust the flatbed accordingly. To apply the multiple template to an image being printed on the product, select the desired image from our image directory. Then select View, Template, select the template you saved, click Apply to center the image, and OK to exit the template window. Now you're ready to print a full bed of the product. Tip segment. Instead of using an iPhone shape outline, use a generic square shape, for example, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, and print at the default starting point of 45 for X and Y. This marks a default starting position for any product. As long as you create a template using the height and width of the object and use the same starting position to print your artwork, 45 millimeters for X and Y, the generic square you printed on the multi mat can be used to line up the top left corner using any product.